Donald Trump's relationship with his five children has been speculated about for years, and many have wondered if he has much of a relationship with his youngest son, Barron, at all. The teenager is Trump's only child with third wife, Melania Trump, and Barron Trump would presumably have more contact with his father than Trump's grown kids. But how often do they get quality time? And how does Donald see his son, who's over a decade younger than his next youngest child? Let's take a look at the surprising truth behind Donald Trump's relationship with his son, Barron. Barron Trump may provide a sense of normalcy in the White House. Donald Trump's youngest son, Barron Trump, made history as the first presidential son to live in the White House since John F. Kennedy Jr. Notably, while previous administrations predominantly had daughters, Barron's presence in the White House brought a unique dynamic. However, his transition from Trump Tower to the White House wasn't immediate after his father's inauguration in January 2017. According to Politico, Donald and Melania Trump decided not to disrupt Barron's school year and opted to delay the move until June of that year. This decision was not only aimed at providing stability for Barron during a time of significant transition, but also intended to project a sense of normalcy to the public. Catherine Jellison, an Ohio University history professor specializing in First Lady Studies, suggested that the delayed move could help create an impression of control and stability within the Trump family. Additionally, the decision to delay the move may have been influenced by financial considerations, as reported by The Hill. The New York Police Department incurred substantial costs estimated between 127,000 and 146,000 per day to provide security for Barron and Melania while they resided in New York City. Donald Trump stands up for son Barron Trump's privacy. While the realm of political commentary often operates under the premise of anything goes, there's a universally recognized boundary when it comes to targeting children. This boundary was starkly breached in 2017 when Saturday Night Live writer Katie Rich sparked outrage with a now-deleted tweet about Barron Trump. In her tweet, Rich suggested that Barron could become this country's first homeschool shooter, a comment that drew widespread condemnation for its insensitivity and inappropriate nature. In response to the backlash, Rich was suspended from the show and she issued a public apology, expressing deep regret for her words and acknowledging their inexcusable nature. The incident prompted a firm response from the White House, underscoring the long-standing tradition of granting the children of presidents the opportunity to grow up outside the political spotlight. In a statement, the White House conveyed its expectation for this tradition to be upheld, emphasizing the importance of respecting the privacy and well-being of presidential offspring. This stance garnered support from various quarters, including former first daughter Chelsea Clinton, who echoed the sentiment in a Facebook post, urging people to refrain from targeting Barron with unwarranted attention or commentary. Donald Trump gave Barron his own floor in Trump Tower. Baron Trump doesn't just reside at the White House, he also enjoys a comfortable setup at Trump Tower in New York City. In a candid interview with Parenting Magazine, Baron's mother revealed that he has his own floor in the Trump Tower penthouse, affectionately dubbed Baron's Living Room. This personalized space allows Baron the freedom to express himself, including indulging in his penchant for drawing on the walls. His mother explained that having his own floor enables him to decorate his living space as he wishes, with the reassurance that they can always repaint if things get too messy. Transitioning to life at the White House hasn't meant a downgrade for Barron. Reports from Inquisitor indicate that he has a dedicated bedroom there, meticulously tailored to his preferences and stocked with all his favorite snacks, foods, and personal belongings. Moreover, with a White House staff numbering over 100, Barron's needs and comforts are diligently attended to, demonstrating Donald Trump's commitment to providing for his son. Donald Trump wouldn't want Barron Trump to play this sport. During a 2018 speech at Liberty University, Melania Trump shared insights into her son Barron Trump's interests, describing him as all into sports. 
While she didn't specify which sports exactly, it's clear that Barron has a passion for athletic pursuits. However, if his father Donald Trump has anything to say about it, Barron might not be donning shoulder pads anytime soon. In a February 3, 2019 interview on Face the Nation, Donald expressed reservations about Barron playing football, citing concerns about the safety of the sport. While Donald Trump acknowledged his love for watching football and praised the NFL as a great product, he admitted hesitations about allowing Barron to participate in the game. He referenced comments from NFL players who expressed reluctance to let their own sons play football, echoing similar concerns. Despite his reservations about football, Donald Trump emphasized that he still sees Barron as a natural athlete. Donald Trump had serious discussions with Barron Trump about COVID-19. In October 2020, when Donald Trump and Melania Trump tested positive for coronavirus, Barron Trump, along with his half-sister Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner, underwent testing as well. Fortunately, all of them tested negative initially, providing a sigh of relief for the family and their supporters. Stephanie Grisham, the First Lady's Chief of Staff, assured the public that all precautions were being taken to safeguard Barron's health and well-being. However, it later came to light that Barron had indeed tested positive for the virus, albeit without experiencing any symptoms. Like many parents across the globe, Donald Trump likely engaged in candid discussions with his youngest son about the seriousness of the pandemic early on. During a news conference in March 2020, when asked about the conversations he had with his family regarding the virus, Donald Trump shared insights into his exchanges with Barron. He recounted Barron's inquiry about the severity of the situation, to which he responded with a frank acknowledgement of the challenges posed by the pandemic. Donald Trump did not change any of Barron Trump's diapers. Melania Trump's revelation in 2015 about Donald Trump not changing diapers for their son, Barron Trump, shed light on their parenting dynamic. In an interview with Parenting, Melania expressed that Donald's lack of involvement in diaper duties was acceptable to her, emphasizing that they both understood their respective roles in parenting. This sentiment echoed Donald Trump's own remarks during a 2006 interview on The Opie and Anthony Show, where he candidly stated his reluctance to engage in certain aspects of child care. During the interview, Donald Trump made it clear that he had never changed a diaper and seemed content with that arrangement, citing Melania's preferences. He emphasized that they were both satisfied with their roles in parenting and questioned whether he would have opted for more involvement if Melania desired it. Donald's remarks underscored his belief that certain tasks were better suited to others, indicating a hands-off approach to child care that aligned with his personal preferences. While Donald Trump described himself as a great father, he acknowledged certain boundaries in his parenting style, suggesting that he prioritized aspects of fatherhood that resonated with him personally. Donald Trump has great pride in his son Barron, according to body language experts. Despite Donald Trump's reputation for being somewhat hands-off as a father, his public interactions with son Barron Trump often tell a different story. Observers have noted a pattern in Donald's posture and hand positions when photographed with Barron, indicating a strong sense of paternal pride. Many images from Barron's childhood feature Donald standing behind him, with both hands placed firmly on his son's shoulders, a gesture interpreted by body language expert Judy James as a display of endorsement and affection. According to James, Donald's stance resembles that of Mufasa, from The Lion King, symbolizing his role as a proud father presenting his son to the world. As Barron grew older, Donald gradually relinquished this physical support, allowing him more freedom and independence in his body language. Nowadays, Barron is often seen walking alongside his parents without any overt physical contact, indicating a shift towards a more mature and autonomous relationship between father and son. Donald Trump calls Barron multiple times a day. In addition to his busy schedule as President of the United States, Donald Trump still finds time to maintain a caring connection with his children, including his youngest son, Barron Trump. 
Despite the demanding nature of his role, Trump ensures that his family feels his presence and concern, even when he's away from home. This was evident during a speech at the Conservative Political Action Conference in February 2020, where acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney shared an anecdote highlighting Trump's paternal instincts. Mulvaney revealed that he observed the president making multiple calls to Barron to inform him of his impending return via helicopter. Mulvaney's remarks shed light on Trump's personal side as a devoted father, a facet of his character that is not always evident in the public eye. The gesture of calling Barron to provide updates on his return was seen as a poignant display of paternal care, demonstrating Trump's desire to ensure his son's well-being and comfort even amidst the demands of his presidency. However, Mulvaney's disclosure also sparked some curiosity and debate. The mention of Barron in an official capacity raised eyebrows. As the White House typically maintains a stance of shielding Barron from public scrutiny to safeguard his privacy. Some viewed Mulvaney's comments as unconventional, questioning the appropriateness of publicly discussing Barron's involvement in presidential matters. Donald Trump sometimes mentions Barron Trump in a different light than his other kids. During Donald Trump's statement following his impeachment acquittal, he made mention of his family members but some listeners noted a slight hiccup in his acknowledgement of his son Barron. Trump initially referred to his whole family, then added Barron's name almost as an afterthought, saying, And Ivanka is here, and my sons and my whole family, and that includes Barron. He's up there. He's a young boy. The comment sparked reactions on Twitter, with users pointing out the somewhat awkward inclusion of Barron in the list of family members. One user expressed surprise, questioning why Barron wouldn't automatically be considered part of the family, while another Twitter user observed that Melania Trump, Barron's mother, was not mentioned at all in the statement. Barron Trump plays golf with his dad, Donald Trump, the golf course, a classic setting for fathers and sons to bond over a shared love of golfing, even if they don't always see eye to eye. For Donald Trump, golf is not just a hobby, but a cherished pastime. While he often tees off with athletes, celebrities, and pro golfers, he also makes time to hit the greens with his sons, including Baron Trump. Baron has been spotted joining his father on the golf course on several occasions, showcasing his own athletic abilities. A family friend told Politico, I've seen Baron out there with him on a few occasions, and he's a good athlete in his own right. However, Barron might have some catching up to do to match his father's golfing prowess. During a press conference at the U.S. Women's Open in 2017, Barron's half-brother Eric Trump praised his father as an unbelievable golfer and a great putter. He even mentioned that many witnesses, including a club pro, could vouch for his father's golfing skills. Donald Trump has referred to Barron Trump as Melania's son, it's not every day that a parent refers to their own child as their partner's kid unless something unusual is afoot. It's akin to saying, look at what your child did. The poor dog needs therapy now. So when President Donald Trump discussed his efforts to address teen vaping, his choice of words about his own son, Baron Trump, raised eyebrows. During the discussion, Trump remarked, that's how the first lady got involved. She's got a son, Together, that's a beautiful young man, and she feels very, very strongly about it, as reported by The Cut. The peculiar phrasing left many speculating. Perhaps Baron was caught with a forbidden jewel tucked away in his school bag, intercepted by the Secret Service. Or maybe there's some undisclosed family drama akin to a Maury Povich show plot. Alternatively, it could just be another instance of Trump speaking candidly and off the cuff, as he often does. Whatever the case may be, when your dad starts referring to you as your mother's child, it's typically not a sign of smooth sailing. Donald Trump used Barron as an example of why kids should go back to school. Schools must open in the fall, President Donald Trump tweeted on July 6, 2020. By then, Barron Trump had been out of school for nearly four months due to the pandemic. Many parents found themselves in a similar situation during this time. 
grappling with the challenges of remote learning. Despite the president's insistence, Barron's School, St. Andrew's Episcopal School, continued with online classes as of October 2020. When Barron contracted COVID-19 in the fall of 2020, Donald wasted no time using his son's experience to advocate for fully reopening schools. During a rally in Des Moines, Iowa, as reported by The Hill, the president highlighted Barron as an example of someone who had successfully recovered from the virus due to his youth and robust immune system. And Barron is beautiful, Donald remarked, emphasizing his son's recovery and resilience. Donald Trump reportedly had help getting Barron Trump into top schools. Former Trump attorney Michael Cohen's involvement in the Trump family extended beyond legal matters. Aside from his convictions for tax fraud and illegal campaign contributions, Cohen served as a longtime fixer for the Trumps, leveraging his connections to assist them in various ways. Stephanie Winston Wolkoff's book, Melania and Me, The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady, sheds light on some of these favors, including purported assistance in securing admission for Baron Trump to elite private schools. In an excerpt featured in Politico, it was revealed that Cohen served on the board of the prestigious Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School in New York, and Melania allegedly relied on his influence to facilitate Barron's acceptance. Despite the predominantly Democratic parent community at the school, Melania reportedly received numerous playdate invitations for Barron following Donald Trump's presidential victory. This instance suggests that, at least in some cases, people can set aside political differences for the well-being of their children. Melania Trump calls Baron Trump Little Donald. It's often said that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And in the case of Baron Trump, it seems he shares more than just a family name with his father, Donald Trump. Despite the exact extent of his father's influence on him remaining unclear, Barron has displayed traits reminiscent of his dad from a young age. Melania Trump once affectionately referred to Barron as Minnie Donald in a 2013 interview with ABC News, highlighting his early aspirations to follow in his father's footsteps as a businessman and golfer. According to Melania's interview with Parenting, Barron exhibited a penchant for constructing and deconstructing things, displaying a similar entrepreneurial spirit to his father. Melania also described Barron as opinionated and strong-willed, qualities that earned him the moniker Little Donald. Supporting this notion, Donald Trump's former butler, Anthony Senecal, shared insights with Inside Edition, suggesting that Barron may bear a striking resemblance to Donald in terms of personality. Interestingly, Donald Trump Jr., often regarded as the original mini-Donald, has remained silent on the matter, leaving room for speculation about Barron's unique connection to his father. Donald Trump might jealous of son Barron's height, new book claims. Barron Trump, the youngest son of former President Donald Trump, has reportedly outgrown his father in height, sparking feelings of jealousy and resentment from the former commander-in-chief. According to Michael Wolff's book Under Fire, Trump's relationship with Barron is strained and distant, with Trump actively avoiding being photographed alongside his son due to insecurities about his height. Wolf elaborated on Trump's fixation on height during an appearance on MSNBC's The Last Word with Lawrence O'Donnell in June 2019. He revealed that Trump harbors jealousy towards taller individuals and goes to great lengths to avoid being photographed with anyone taller than himself. Height, Wolf suggested, is one of Trump's tactics, as he is a physically imposing figure himself. The former president may be considered tall by most standards, but his son, Barron, has surpassed him in height. During an appearance on the Megyn Kelly Show podcast, the former president described his youngest as very tall, about six oat, and a good-looking kid. However, determining the exact height difference between Barron's six feet eight inches frame and his father's is challenging due to inconsistencies and controversies surrounding Donald's height and weight measurements. 
Discrepancies in Donald's height and weight first emerged during his initial months as president-elect. Politico uncovered a discrepancy of one inch between the height listed on his driver's license, six feet two inches, and the six feet three inches recorded during his official White House physical in December 2016. Slate suggested that the extra inch may have been an attempt to keep Trump from falling into the obese BMI category. Time magazine also mentioned the taller height, noting, It bothers Donald that so many media outlets claim six foot two. Columnist Jay Matthews, who has researched the impact of height in political elections for over three decades, revealed in 20 to 20 that Trump often used height as a means of attacking his opponents. Matthews cited numerous instances of Trump using derogatory language to describe his adversaries, including giving them nicknames like Little Marco, Little Adam Schiff, and posting tweets such as one where Trump remarked on Michael Bloomberg stating, Mini Mike is a short ball, very hitter. Wolf's book, Siege Trump Under Fire, suggests that Trump's fixation on height has worsened his already strained relationship with his only son from his third marriage to Melania Trump. He doesn't get along with his son. He doesn't communicate with his son. His son is effectively not at all a part of his life, Wolf told Lawrence O'Donnell in 2019. Donald Trump opens up about his relationship with 17-year-old son Barron. In contrast with what the book claim, Donald Trump and Melania Trump have always prioritized their son Barron, keeping their family life relatively private. However, in a recent interview with Megyn Kelly, Donald Trump offered a rare glimpse into their relationship and Barron's future plans as he transitions into adolescence. According to a close source revealed to People magazine, Melania has always placed Barron as her top priority, being a doting and protective mother. During the interview, Trump shared insights into their family dynamics, describing their dinners as ordinary and enjoyable affairs. He praised Barron as a very good athlete and revealed discussions about his college prospects, noting his impressive stature of around 6'8". Trump emphasized Barron's academic excellence and good looks, indicating that they are considering options for his higher education, including the possibility of attending the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Interestingly, Trump himself graduated from the University of Pennsylvania in 1968 with a bachelor's degree in economics. Following in their father's footsteps, Donald Trump Jr., and Ivanka Trump also attended the University of Pennsylvania. Additionally, Tiffany Trump, Trump's daughter from his second marriage, graduated from the same university in 2016. This legacy connection to the university adds another layer of significance to Barron's potential enrollment at Wharton. In conclusion, the complex dynamics between Donald Trump and his son Barron reveal a fascinating aspect of their relationship. What are your thoughts on this surprising truth behind Trump's relationship with his son? Share your insights in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing content about the personal lives of public figures. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye.